we're a technology-enabled agribusiness. We are not a tech company, we're a farmer. We ultimately sell fresh produce uh, to, to make money and to you know, have a sustainable business model. We just do the work of managing this harsh environment so that the plant doesn't have to. We're using technology to measure and control every variable, light, water, pressure, air movement, and all of these things allow us to deliver that perfect climate environment, which allows us to achieve world-leading yields, extremely high quality. They allow us not to use poisons or pesticides. We're able to use beneficial insects to protect the plants. Before we entered the market and others like us now, we're not alone now, Consumers didn't have trust of local produce, right? There was a perception that local was lower quality and possibly less safe, and that therefore they'd pay a premium to buy imports, right? There was literally a local tax, if you will. So I think that we ultimately have helped to reestablish trust with the consumers. We've removed this disbelief that local can't be great. And I think that we've helped to start that movement. And that's a fundamental piece of not only getting consumers to be willing to buy local fresh produce, which helps to develop a market and that demand is critical to building this industry. But also I think you've seen it in, in chefs and you've seen it at, at, in the hotels, restaurants and catering channels. They've seen local variety and, and quality available and now they're embedding it in their dishes. I think we have a role in providing a, a critical piece of the food infrastructure, if you will, which is fruit and veg production and specifically Fruit and veg is perishable, right? You have a, a major disadvantage. You can't silo and store it for six months for a strategic food security reserve. Because of its perishability, you probably have 14 days or less, right? So you need some element of local and regional supply as part of your portfolio. And I think we have an important role to play in doing that. And last but not least is that there's agenda interests beyond just food security, right? There's food security, water conservation, economic diversification, and sustainability. And we contribute to all of these, right? We're able to attract foreign direct investment, create jobs, and not only displace air freighting of imports, but create new local demand. So we have a huge role, I think, to play in both food security and economic diversification. Well done. These are for one for everyone to try. Look at this. It's perfect. We believe that if you developed a solution in one of the harshest environments in the world, right, which unfortunately kind of a future state of the world as more places start to look like the Middle East's environmental constraints and challenges. But if you could develop that solution here in this incredible desert subtropical climate where the climate hits over 50 degrees C and 100% humidity, but if you could produce food there, you could do it anywhere. And now we're bringing that solution to other markets. I'd like to believe that one day, you know, this, this country and this region will be proud of beer harvest and that we were a contributor to this global challenge in tackling food security in here in South Asia and then eventually around the entire globe, anywhere within 1,000 miles of the equator that is food import dependent. We don't tackle it all. We tackle fruit and veg specifically, but I believe this solution can do a lot to, to move the needle in this great challenge.